This is Valley Public Radio. I'm David Alves. Welcome to Young Artist Spotlight. Support for Young Artist Spotlight comes from the Bonner Family Foundation and from the California Arts Council's Arts and Public Media Grant. Every once in a while on Young Artist Spotlight, we get to hear musicians performing on instruments beyond the core group of violin, viola, cello, or piano. And that's what we've got in store. Our performer in this episode is a wonderful harpist from the Fresno Clovis area, Carter Williams. We'll get to hear about harp music, we'll get to know her, and she'll play works by Nina Rota, Franz Josef Haydn, and Marcel Granjani. Our guest today on Young Artist Spotlight is a wonderful harpist uh, from Fresno Clovis area. Her name is Carter Williams. Hey, Carter, great to have you with us today. Hi, thank you for having me. Really, really loved hearing all the music that you've shared with me as we were setting up uh, this appearance. So I'm curious, harp is your first instrument. Yes. How did you come? How did you come to decide on the harp? When I was three years old, my family took a trip to San Francisco, and we stayed at the Ritz Carlton Hotel. And there was a lady playing the harp at tea time. And I really wanted to listen and she started playing Disney pieces for me. And I told my parents that I wanted to play. And so they said that if I still want to play when I'm seven years old, I can get a lesson. And I still really wanted to play. So I was able to start playing the harp. Well, oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. So you were just immediately enamored of the harp and fascinated mm -hmm. by it. And that fascination hasn't left you, has it? No. I'd like to hear about who are your harp instructors. So I've been studying with Laura Porter in Fresno for about 10 years. And then I've been studying with Emmanuel Saison. He lives in Los Angeles for about a year. So was Laura Porter your first instructor? Did you have any teachers before her on harp? She was my first instructor. Okay. So, so she, she's been with you the whole time through your harp playing career. Well, yeah. Well, she's well known in harp circles and certainly well known in the Fresno music scene. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so glad you're with her. What do you like most about playing the harp? I think the ability to be able to tell stories through the music and each piece has a different story to tell. So it's really fun to kind of take on the feelings and the mood of each piece and portray it to the audience in my own way. That's a wonderful statement. I like that. Thank you. Well, you've got three wonderful pieces prepared for us today. Let's talk about the first one, the first piece by the Italian composer Nino Rota. What's the name of this piece? What can you tell me about it? Um, so this piece is called Saraband and Toccata by Nino Rota. It's a 20th century piece in the neoclassical style, which means that in the era between the First and Second World War, musicians were writing music that referred back to the classical rules. And so Nino Rota wrote this piece a few years after that time period in that style. And the first half is called Sarabond and it's a slow dance. It has three beats in each measure. And the second half is called Toccata, and it's more quick and lively. Yeah. You know, now, most people, if they're familiar with Nino Rota's work, it's because they heard his music that he wrote for a film. For American audiences, he's best known as providing music mm -hmm. for first to uh, the Godfather movies by Francis Ford Coppola. And mm -hmm films of uh, Federico Fellini and Visconti. And he was a prolific composer in his lifetime. He did more than 150 film scores, mm -hmm. but not just that, he did all kinds of other work too. 10 operas and five ballets and dozens of pieces for orchestra and choral groups and chamber music. So it's, uh, for people who are only familiar with Nina Rota's film music, you're in for a real treat here. So let's listen now as our guest on Young Artist Spotlight today, Carter Williams, the harpist, plays Nina Rota's Sarabande e Toccata per Arpo. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was harpist Carter Williams performing music of Nina Rota, Sarband, and Takata for harp, composed in 1945 in the neoclassical style, as Carter informed us. Carter, what's your favorite part of that piece? I think in the Takata, there's a part where my left hand kind of goes above my right hand, and I'm playing notes going back and forth, switching over my right hand. It's really fun to play that part. And that's, of course, in the livelier section of it. So it's a, mm -hmm. the more calisthenic uh, uh, portion of that com of that composition. Mm -hmm. okay, next, and next to our program from you, we'll hear a piece not written for harp, but by Franz Josef Haydn. So going back uh, oh, 180 years before that Nino Rota piece that we just heard. So tell us about this Haydn piece that you're going to do for us. This piece is called Sonata in A flat major, Hoboken 1643. It was written for the piano, but I decided to play it on the harp, and I think it sounds really nice on the harp. It has three different movements. The first movement is a moderate pace, kind of slower. The second movement has two minuettos, um, and each measure has three beats in it. And the third movement is the rondo, and it's more lively. Yeah, it's very, it's very lively. Mm -hmm. um, so when you play that, I'm curious, do you read music that is kind of notated for harp, or you just read the piano sheet music and play it like that? I have to read the piano sheet music and make my own changes to the music to play it on the harp. All right. So figuring out which notes are going to be in which hand and, and, and all yeah, that. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Well, that's a advanced musicianship there. You get to really know a piece well then when you have to kind of deconstruct it like that to figure out mm -hmm. how to realize this on harp. How long did it take you to put the Haydn piece together? A few months. I'm not exactly sure when I started yeah. it. That's a solid chunk of work on it. Okay, well, it's a it's a really, really fun piece. And, and as you said, it starts with the uh, kind of fun march-like uh, moderato first movement, and then we'll hear two minuets, three, four dances in the middle, and then the lively rondo at the end. Sonata in A-flat major by Franz Joseph Haydn, Hoboken 16, number 43, written for piano, but performed here on harp by Carter Williams. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was harpist Carter Williams, our performer on Young Artist Spotlight today, performing music of Franz Joseph Haydn, piano sonata in A flat and major, whole book in 16, number 43. It was published in 1783, likely composed about a decade before that. And boy, it really plays really well on the harp. Really nice to hear that. Back to the 20th century for the third piece you're going to play for us today. Tell us about this composer and the piece. So this piece is called Aria in Classic Style and is by Marcel Grangeny. Um, so Grangeny played the organ as well as the harp. So he composed this piece as an organ and harp duet. Um, but the piece can also be played using a string orchestra and the harp or a harp trio or as a harp solo. So today I will be playing it as a harp solo. As a harp solo. And it's a really, really uh, lovely piece as well. Granjani, a French Canadian composer, lived in the 20th century. What's your favorite part of this piece? Um, I really like all the arpeggios that I get to play in it. Well, it's, it's no coincidence that the Italian word arpeggio is based on the same root as the Italian word for harp, which is arpo. So, mm -hmm. well, let's listen to all those arpeggios and all the other notes in this really, really beautiful piece by the French Canadian composer, Marcel Grangeny, aria in a classic style performed here by harpist Carter Williams. <laughs> Thank you. 
Carter, that was just beautiful. Thanks so much. I, I don't know that without your appearance, I'm not sure if I would have ever come across that piece of music. So great to hear a beautiful new piece of music to me and even better to hear your performance of it. It's just wonderful. Thank you. Really, really nice. Oh, I haven't asked yet. Where do you go to high school? I am a junior at Clovis West High School. And do you play other instruments besides the harp? I've been playing the violin for about a year at school. And I play a little piano and I also take voice lessons. What kinds of things do you do in voice lessons? I've been working on some Irish songs and I'm trying to um, incorporate playing the harp and singing together. Oh, wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, there's a great Celtic tradition of the harp. So that's a great marriage right there. Mm -hmm. So you've been playing violin in your high school orchestra, uh, but you've performed in other orchestra uh, opportunities in town too. Right. I've been playing with the youth orchestras of Fresno for about seven years. Um, and I've also participated in the FUSA Fresno Orchestra Summer Academy as a harpist. And I've been in other orchestras like the California Allstate and Honor Orchestras. Oh, excellent. So a lot of your performances as a harpist are solo. What do you like that's different about playing when you're playing with the symphony orchestra? I like how all the instruments sound together. Um, it's just a really magical feeling to play with everyone else. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, you just got some news about a new music opportunity for you from the Curtis Institute. I'd like to hear about that. So the Curtis Institute has a summer harp program. It's about a week of master classes. Um, so I will be doing that this summer with the Curtis teacher, Elizabeth Heinen and Judy Lohman, who's another wonderful harp teacher oh, wonderful. and harpist. Wonderful. Now that name I have heard. Very, very exciting. Uh, what role do you see music playing in your life going forward? Going forward, I want to go to college and major in harp performance, and I want to play in an orchestra someday and have a solo career. And I also love playing in competitions, so I hope to do more competitions in the future. Well, I wish you well in all of that, and I'm sure you'll go far. Uh, you're a wonderfully gifted musician. And it's clear from the performances we've heard tonight that you know how to put in the work and get it done. And uh, with, beyond that, what's really nice, not just hearing you play all the right notes and everything, but hearing you, as you said earlier, express, express with passion and telling music with your instrument. Really wonderful to hear tonight. Carter Williams, Harpist, thank you so much for being on Young Artist Spotlight. Thank you.
That concludes another episode of Young Artist Spotlight. Thank you to our wonderful performer today, Harper Carter Williams. Thanks also to her teacher, Laura Porter, who was instrumental in making this appearance possible. Special thanks to CMAC for video production. Support for Young Artist Spotlight comes from the Bonner Family Foundation and from the California Arts Council's Arts and Public Media Grant. For Valley Public Radio, I'm David Alice. Thank you.